everybody, it's Becky Bamboo. Today is um, Tuesday, June 17th, 2014. I'm doing an update. I want to talk about something um, that I've been reflecting on the last few days. I actually, uh, Sunday, I just got home from a week in Florida. And um, we stayed in Orlando. I was with uh, all of my family. So 10 adults, two toddlers. We rented this big, huge five-bedroom home with a private pool and a private hot tub. And um, it was absolutely stunning. Um, and I have to say, it was dirt cheap. Uh, for all of us to go for a whole week, we had this house an entire week. It was $1,600. So when it was divided up, I think Jared and I, for the two of us, paid about $330 for the whole week for two of us. So it was like cheap, you know, like it, unbelievable, but it was beautiful. Um, really, really something special for those of us who don't have access to a pool to have 24 seven access to a pool. Um, we, you know, we would swim during the day with the kids and then put the kids to bed. And then in the evening we'd sit in the hot tub and drink too much beer and, <laughs> and laugh and have a good time and relax. And it was really nice. So, um, also with Florida, we stayed in Orlando. So, um, those of you who don't maybe know, Orlando is kind of right in the middle of the state. So you have access to day trips to the beach. So um, Cocoa Beach is the closest beach, which is on the East Coast. It's 45 minutes away. Such an easy drive for a day trip to the beach. Um, you also have access to go towards um, the Gulf Shore, uh, which the closest beach that way is like in the Tampa area, which was Clearwater Beach. Um, so Jared and I spent two days at the Gulf Shore, one day on the Eastern Coast. And um, so... Lots of beach time in the week. Um, most of my family went to Disney World. I wasn't about to chase no toddler around Disney World. And he's not even going to remember what we did. And I'm just going to be, like, traumatized by having to chase a kid around Disney World. So uh, we didn't do any of that. But the day trips to the beach were really fun. And actually, my mom and my mom gave me and my husband a break um, one day and let us just have an entire day to ourselves. We went out um, to the Gulf Shore to a place called Honeymoon Island. Um, and we spent the whole day on the beach. We went out to this nice restaurant for a seafood dinner. And it, it was fabulous. It was like we really, in the two almost two years that we've had Zeke, Jared and I have never had, like, a, we haven't even gone out to dinner alone ever. Not ever. Um, you know, well, I shouldn't say that. We have, when Zeke's been at daycare, like, here and there we've snuck in, like, going to a meal. But usually it's, like, an early afternoon. Never, never been out, like, for something fun, you know. So that was really a nice treat for us. But the one thing that I really want to talk about related to, um, to this vacation, and particularly being on the beach, is that um, it was the first time in my life that I've had a beach experience where I never once had the thought about my body. Um, I have fought body image my whole life. And even post-op, I have, I continue to fight body image issues. Um, you know, now I've got all this loose skin and, um, for some reason, the last, like, six months or so, I've been really empowered to kind of let go of that whole loose skin thing. Um, I've tried really hard to wrap my mind around embracing the fact that it's there and that, um, you know, it doesn't make me any less of a, of a person. It doesn't make me any less successful at my weight loss surgery because it's still there. Um, it just is there. It's a byproduct of having lost over 200 pounds and a byproduct of keeping off a weight loss of over 200 pounds. So I've been working really hard on my inner self, I guess you could say, to to embrace the fact that, you know, the loose skin is there. Um, I spent most of my initial time post-op um, wearing compression garments, trying to hold it down, strap it down, do this, do that. That shit's hot. Let me just tell you, it gets hot. And I do a very physical job at work, and that shit's hot. And I just, I got hit to point, I think, after my pregnancy, where I'm just like, I'm fed up with feeling like I have to wear this shit every day. And um, so I've just been working to kind of embrace I am who I am. Um, the skin hangs how it hangs, and there's not a damn thing I can do about it, so I might as well learn to love it. And I haven't worn compression garments and I couldn't even tell you how long. Um, in fact, I didn't even take any with me to Florida because I'm like, I'm not wearing them. It's going to be too hot. I'm not doing it. Um, so it's nice. It's nice to feel like I can just be in my skin and be okay with myself. Um, the last time I went to Florida, 
um, was in December of 2010. I was about six months post weight loss surgery. So I was significantly smaller um, than I was pre-op, but nowhere near as small as I am now. And I can remember being on the beach. It was even in December, um, being in the beach on a swimsuit, in a swimsuit, thinking, my gosh, I've lost a ton of weight. You know, I think I'd lost over 100 pounds at that point, but still being huge. And um, constantly looking around, checking around, wondering what people are thinking about me, um, being very, very aware of how I looked in my swimming suit, not wanting to sit a certain way because it, you know, accentuates this or that or the other, um, just being very, very self-conscious. Um, and it did not hit me until on the drive home. I was sitting, it was quiet in the car, reflecting um, on the trip and what we've done. And all of a sudden with the realization that, you know what, I never, in the three days that we spent on the beach, I never once thought about how I looked. I never, it never crossed my mind to compare myself to anyone else. It never crossed my mind to check around and see was I the biggest person on the beach. I know I wasn't because I saw, you know, morbidly obese people around me, but I don't ever judge people for that. I don't, it, to me, I was that person. So I don't even like, you know, everybody stares at the fat people. I don't do that. I, you know, I, I think we are all equal and, you know, yes, I noticed they were there the same way I noticed the skinny girls in bikinis who I wish I could look like, you know, it's no different, but you know, I just sat and I thought, gosh, I never ever felt like I was inferior. I never felt allowed. I never, it never even crossed my mind. And and it's something that I, I immediately commented to my husband. I said, you know, I never even like got self-conscious at the beach at all. And he smiled so big and said, no, you didn't. And you never made a single comment about the way that you looked. And I was very shocked because he's so used to me making maybe like, derogatory comments towards myself about my loose skin or about my weight or whatever um, that I think it's just become second nature you know and I've been working very hard to change that and um, it was nice to go on vacation and be me and not think god I'm not as skinny as her and I can't wear that kind of swimsuit and Oh, why are they staring at me? Are they staring at me because I have loose skin? Are they staring at me because I'm too fat? Or, you know, I never even thought about it. I just wore my swimsuit that I was comfortable in and I just went. And, you know, it, it's just, I, I don't know if I have reached that point post up that you eventually get to if you do the hard work where you start to, you learn to love yourself for who you become. But that's how I feel. I feel like I'm finally appreciating who I am, the body that I have earned, because the body that I have is what it is because of the work that I've done or haven't done. You know, it, it, it's not, it's not reflective of just, oh, you had surgery. It's reflective of, I, I've put work into this. You know, I have muscle that I have gained because I have worked out. Uh, my legs are shaped the way they are because I've run, you know, there's just, just different things. And I, and I'm appreciative of that now. I'm, I'm learning to be appreciative. I'm not perfect. I have those days still where I just think the worst of myself. I'm sure we all go through that, but probably the most self-confident people still have days uh, where they uh, maybe beat themselves up too much. So, I guess I just wanted to share that um, I'm really proud of myself. I'm proud of being um, at a point where I have learned to let go of such petty little things. And, you know, it, it doesn't make any difference to me what people think of me because I have, I'm comfortable being who I am. And um, I, th I think that's what people will find attractive um, uh, and self-confidence is, is attractive on anybody, you know, if you believe in yourself and you know, you know, you, you love yourself, I, I think it shows, I think it shows, you know, externally. Um, so yeah, just, um, kind of a proud pat myself on the, the back kind of moment. Um, and, uh, it was just very pleasant to be on the beach for the first time in my life, um, and not, be worried about what other people were thinking and not, not, not even have that cross my mind to just look around, enjoy, appreciate where I was, what I was, you know, the activities I was partaking in, um, 
the fact that I can move and run and bend and play with my son in the sand and um, just overall live and not have a hard time because I'm too fat or, you know, whatever else. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to share. Um, it's kind of empowering. I don't know. It's very empowering to look back and go, yeah, that was really kind of cool. And I really, I've done a, I've done a good amount of work on the inner me as well as the external me. So, Anyway, that's that. I still have three days off to enjoy, so I'm getting out of here and going to go do some stuff. I hope you guys are all doing well. Love ya.